the new Apple AirPods Pro. They just sent these to me while I'm on the woods in vacation, but I had to show you. I was excited about these as I'm hearing through the ears of someone with a 38% hearing loss. I'm a professional photographer, and after years of being on and in front of the stage with major rock bands and in rave clubs, in front of the speakers with questionable hearing protection, I've got a 38% hearing loss. So the actual sound clarity is critical other than just being able to turn the volume up. This means I was interested in how clear these speakers are and how the Apple adaptive transparency works to be able to use these AirPod Pros as kind of a poor man's hearing aid. Stay tuned as I have a very clear answer on both of these fronts. After having pretty much all of the Apple earbuds, I'm now very convinced that these are the best yet but not because they're simply the latest or they have a lot of the small new features people are asking for. These things look pretty much identical to the last version. So no one's gonna run up to you on the street and ask about your new cool AirPods or rob you to get them or anything. You'll still recognize them as Apple AirPods from a mile away. The only real way you can tell them apart from the last AirPods Pros visually is by these dual vents at the top. That's it. Inside, there is an entirely new magic, like a new driver and amplifier and all kinds of stuff like the H2 chip. Off the bat, the lows are lower and the highs higher. Bass is noticeably better even over the Beats Pros that I had that Apple put out. Again, I struggled to hear some of the lows and highs on the end of the ranges, but these totally delivered. You can look up all the specs you want, but I spent about an hour taking earphones in and out of my ears and having mismatched earphones for comparison. Look, these are better, period. Again, due to my hearing loss, clarity is important at volume. The new AirPod Pros deliver clarity on my favorite rock and fast rap. I can easily make out words to songs better than the other AirPods and also get the full immersion in Apple's new three-dimensional sound thing. The new Apple AirPods promised a three-dimensional sound, and I guess that's what's adding to the clarity. Now, in order to set these up, you have to put them in and then move your head all around with them in and listen to them, but it's worth setting up properly. The noise cancellation here is also amazing. These things give a good run for the money against the Bose over-the-ear cans. Really, Apple is saying these offer up to two times more background noise removal versus the last generation, and I totally agree. I regularly do stuff like you're not supposed to, like walking around in a crowded space with these in, and I can tell you they do cancel noise. You are supposed to use it in the transparency mode to avoid being hit by cars and stuff. I do use the transparency mode, but I use it differently. You can simply touch and hold one of the AirPod stocks and magically they switch between full noise cancellation, silence, to transparency. The transparency mode allows you to hear what's going on around you while you use the AirPod. This is cool to be able to answer questions, talk with other people, and not get hit by approaching cars when walking around. If you're like me, there is another secret to using them. You can set up the transparency mode using the accessibility options to actually boost outside sounds and have them focus towards the front of you. This isn't that live hearing where your phone becomes the mic to put in front of other people's. I hate that. All of the work here is done by the headphones and the new Magic H2 chip. Does it work? Very much. I can hear my girlfriend much clearer when she is talking to me as well when she's even facing away from me. I kind of went from a hybrid lip reading, really hard listening and guessing what she said during our normal conversations to really being able to hear her about 100% of the time. She's pretty happy. Is this perfect? No. If you have real bad hearing, get hearing aids. But if you have 250 bucks and also want to listen to music, get these and see if they work for you. The two things that are a little off-putting are having to have them in all the time and it kind of looking weird when you're talking to someone else like if i went to a restaurant or something then the voice and outside sounds like doors opening is super amplified including your voice when you rock the transparency mode the way i am uh, that just happens but it does work in hearing other people 
these do have over a 30% longer battery life. So it's like five or six hours on a single charge now with cancellation on and up to 30 hours with battery in the case. I'm gonna get bored by the time these wear out or at least need to be put back in the case. So I have had them in for four hours at the longest so far, and they are so much more comfortable than any of the previous models. Speaking of putting them back in the case, the case is better. Why? Because it's got this alarm thing where when I lose them, and I said when, because I'm going to, I can turn it on with my phone and track down the alarm wherever cushion they've fallen into. There is also a lanyard piece where you can put these on your keys or a belt or a purse. Now, Apple doesn't give you a lanyard with these, so I guess it's gonna be an Amazon purchase later. Another cool thing with these is the volume is finally on the stock. Just touch one of them, slide your finger up and down, and it changes the volume. Apple has gone to a lot of trouble making this version of their AirPods more livable, I think. People are going to have these in pretty much all day, getting to work, at work, going home, and even after work. Apple's made it easier to live with these in any scenario. You know, it's everything you care about. The better battery life, the better sound quality, better noise cancellation, and much better transparency mode. The better case, the better volume control on the stocks all in one package at basically the same price. I get it, I get it. AirPod Pros are really, really good. And now you know why. Thanks for watching.